Blackboard Ultra has included a few different ways that you as the instructor can approach grading in the gradebook. Navigate to the gradebook in the top menu of your course and you'll see different tabs for overview, gradable items, grades, and students. In the overview, you'll see a box at the top that says needs grading where you will be able to access the individual items that need grading and below that needs posting box. Once an item is graded and it needs to be posted, it will appear in this box below. In the gradable items tab, you'll see column views where you can quickly look at the item, the category, the due date, the grading status, and where you can post the grade. The three dots on the right hand side allow you to have some options about that specific assignment. If you click into the Grades tab, you'll now see a table view where you have columns of the gradable items and rows of the individual students. So you can see the submission status by student of individual items, and you could also add exceptions or exemptions here. And finally, the Students tab allows you to view the individual students and see their overall grade, set accommodations, message the students, or uh, view their progress in the course if you have progress tracking turned on. So back in the overview tab, let's look at the interface for grading. Next to the name of the assignment that you want to grade, you'll see a Grade Now button with the number of student submissions that need grading next to it. It will open the assignment that the student has submitted for grading. On the right hand side, I have a space to grade by the rubric that's associated with the assignment. I can also choose to provide feedback or annotations. I can provide feedback in this text box here or audio video feedback there as well or annotate the document directly with the annotation tools. I can see the student's final grade in this pill-shaped icon in the top right. When I'm done grading, I can close the assignment. Now, the assignment grade still needs to be posted. I see that it appears down here in this needs posting box and I can simply click post. Individual types of graded items might appear differently. For instance, if I open up this graded discussion board, it looks a little different than the navigation of the assignment submission, but there's still the same functionality with the pill-shaped icon to enter a grade, since this one doesn't have a rubric associated, and a text box to submit text or video audio feedback. So now if I navigate back to my gradebook by clicking the X in the top left corner of these items. I'll show you a couple different places that you can access to post a grade. So you can access it on this overview tab easily and click post now, or on the gradable items, it should show you if there is a item that needs posting, or in the grades, you can click into the individual item by the student and choose to post it. I'm going to navigate back to the overview tab to post it and also to highlight that when there is something that needs grading or posting, there will be a little number notification next to the gradebook tab at the top to indicate to you that there is some action that needs to be taken there. So the gradebook allows a lot of different functionality that you can kind of customize to how your grading process works best. We hope this has been a helpful introduction to some of Blackboard Ultra's tools. If you're an instructor who needs support in ULTRA, contact UAA's instructional design team at uaa underscore design at alaska.edu. If you're a student who needs support in ULTRA, contact the UAA Technical Support Center by calling 907-786-4646 or emailing uaa.techsupport at alaska.edu.